Black. Black? Give me your white portion of shit. Black. Now we ain't gonna do semantics. No, this ain't semantics. That's a European no, no, book, bro. It's not a European book. Yes, it is. This is a, it's a life book. book. Okay, so well, give me your, a give me something. Book. Hold on. If no, hold on. Book, give me something in Paleo Hebrew. If this is a Europe, give me something in Paleo Hebrew. Right. Do Don't read from there. No, no. Give me something in Paleo Hebrew. That's what I want to know. Yeah, give me something. Now, what do you have when they say Moses and the patriarchs is this? You know what how to say Moses in Hebrew? What do you have? Do you know how to say Moses? Moses. Moses. Nope. No, that's not. Okay, it's Moses. 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 No, it's Moses. Yeah. Now, check this. I'm, I'm, I'm king. told. King. No, you King. Listen. No, King. You're not a King. Listen. Listen, King. What I'm saying is this, King. Listen to me. There's no contemporary writing, but when everything they say happens, there's no contemporary writing. There's no contemporary Okay, that's some shit the Europeans wrote. Nope. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's a book. No, it's not. Hey, bro, look the at Hebrew it. Hebrew is a We need original scrolls. Listen, we don't have original scrolls. We, we have the Bible today. Why not? Today. So we how did you follow that? Because we if you don't have book. any of Give me Jeremiah 28 first. How do you, how do you follow that and you have no original scrolls? Because we know this is our history. How? We know this is our how? history. How? Hold that. No, how? No, 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 how? Because we know that's history. Because... How? How do we know this history? Yeah. How? Deuteronomy 2868. How? No, you can't no, no. poop the Bible with Wait. the Bible. Yes, we can. No, you can't. Yes, we can. No, you, you ever can't. heard of the translated slave trade? No, you can't. You ever heard of the translated slave trade? Have you ever heard of some to Harry and Trace? Yes. Yes. It's in the, it's Bible. In the Bible. It's, it's in the Bible. Bible. <laughs> how do you know? Deuteronomy 2868. We're going to cut this. We've we got to go. It's not so How do you? we yes, got to go with the Bible. How do you know? How do you? Where's your manuscript? Check this out. Bring it up. Where's your manuscript? Where's your original manuscript? No, where's your original manuscript? No, the word of God is going to show you. They say Moshe existed in 1350 B.C. Where's your original manuscript? Where's your original manuscript? Shall bring these into the king. That's the King James. Yes, because he was a black man. That's the King James. King James is a black man. No. Yes. Stop. Where's your proof? He's a black man. Let me see your proof. Look up King James right now. Let me see your proof. 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 No, but look, we ain't going to get it on. No, 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 Where's your proof? Read that. Moshe, King. Abraham, you know Isaac, and Jacob. Listen. No, I'm just saying, cuz. Where's your proof? Shall I bring these to the Isaac, and Jacob. Where's your proof? And the Lord shall do what? The Lord shall bring these to the Egypt. That's bullshit. Wait, what? Where's your proof? 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 Where's Hold it, hold it right. This That's is a myth. Yes, it is. That's a myth. That's a myth. That's a myth. We'll go to the historical archives. Hey brother, that 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 picture is from. Look, that picture. That listen, King. Hey King, you want to listen? Do you know? No, I'm telling you. Do you know where you can find that? Hey, no, it's not. Look, that's false. Now look, everything y'all teaching is false. Hey King, absolutely. So when I talk about the translation, okay, I said it's in the Bible. He said it's not true. Let's get the word. Okay, let's go deeper in. No, no, hold on. We gotta deal with one thing. No. Give me demonstrative so evidence. Give me this. Give it. me demonstrative evidence that you're Yahweh. Is. First of all, it's not Yahweh. It's Yahweh. That's okay, Yahweh. Yahweh. Right? Hold that real quick. We don't want to. I don't want to jump around the book. Let's go. Because I believe in God. Let's do one thing at a time. I broke up in the back. That's right. Brother, what's the demonstration? Hold on. Hold on. No. 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 Answer that question. What's your demonstrative? No. Listen. What's your demonstrative evidence that Yahweh or Yahshua exists? Where's the exist? You can't do that with that. You can't yeah. do that with that. And the Lord shall bring him Give me Egypt. some demonstrative evidence that a God we exists. Shift. We we shift. Give me it's some demonstrative about, evidence. Along, I don't care about that. Answer the question. Fuck all that. What's the demonstrative evidence the that's you your Bible? That's what it is, man. Yo, God, fuck the Bible. Because man has been here for over 500,000 years. Right. Before the what Bible. type of man wrote the Bible? Okay. So what's your demonstrative Hold evidence that your Yahweh exists? What type of man wrote That's the Bible? That's all I want to know. No, I want to know what type of man what's wrote the Bible. What's your demonstrative evidence? What's your demonstrative you evidence? Bible, Give me a demonstrative. No. That's my brother. That's brother. Give me a demonstrative God. evidence that your Yahweh exists. That our Yahweh exists? Yeah. Exodus 6 and 3. You can't. That's a book. Wait. Because the Bible is our book. It's have you talked to him? Have you heard his voice? Have you talked to him? Have you heard his voice? Give me no, that's not my question. That's not demonstrative evidence. 
Well, you mean that's not demonstrable? Matter of fact, you know what's demonstrable evidence? The things around you right now that we're seeing okay, that going proof. on. We're on the 2815. That's a book. You, you going back to this book. Every you have nothing, bro. Back to this book. That's false. Hey, You're brother. I got, I, got, I, got, I got. I do got one question, though. That was given to our slaves. Hey, Salagia, real quick. I got one question. You got, do, do you got, um, give me the monster of evidence. Hold on. You have no, the first three, that's hey, nothing that right there. Put it shut That's the nothing. Plan. Give me the monster of evidence that your God is it. I need oh, the Lord. Talk to the two honest Talk to your God. You know? We're talking men need this day. That's all that. What? That's oh, tell your God. That's oh, tell curses. your God to answer. Tell your God to answer. Shut up, come on, 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 come I'm not sure you the voice. voice. Have Isaiah you heard it? Right. You go into a book. Because the word of God is in the book. A book somebody wrote. No. Who so you mean to tell who me? The who only way. The, the only way I know hey. God is through a book. Not just through that. Because and what through my the Holy Spirit told. Where's the demonstration of heaven? If you don't believe in this book, where's the demonstration of heaven? Bring what you got. If you don't in Can this book, we get some demonstrable evidence? Demonstrable evidence. We're literally living in prophecy right now. Where are we at? Give me demonstrative evidence. Chicago. That's where we are. Give right me now. demonstrative evidence. What do you mean demonstrative evidence? <laughs> demonstrative. Give me demonstrative. Demonstrate something. That's what I told you. Tell God to around. talk to me right now. The most I speak Tell your God to talk to me. Right Bring it out. And Tell your God to talk Lord. to me right now. And do the Lord. I need the demonstrative evidence. evidence. In the water of affliction. We That's don't. false. He said yeah. not that yeah. teachers be removed. That's false. To a corner anymore. We don't. Where's your right. demonstration? I don't see the teacher. Hold on. Hold Where's on. your you demonstration? That's nothing. That's the word. Show your word. Say what? Where's your demonstration? This is the word. God talked to you. This is the word. This is the word. Yes. We don't. We. What's his voice sound like? That's how I got to What's his voice sound like? What's his voice? No. What's his voice sound like? And when you turn to the I'm 48 years old. I ain't never heard his voice. I ain't never heard his voice. Where's his voice? What does his voice sound like? Hold on. Where's his voice sound like? Where's his voice sound like? It says what? Where's his voice? What is that voice saying? This is the way. The voice of the scriptures, the words of God. How come he don't talk to us then? Do you know why? Why? Let me get John 9 and 31. He stopped after the Old Testament, allegedly. Nope. John 9 and Have you heard his voice? Check this out. Watch what his voice sound like? John 9 and 31. King, let's keep it real. We keeping it real with you. King, right let's now. keep it real. John 9 and 31. What his voice sound like, King? I got you right now. King, what? No, fuck the book. What is King? You don't believe in the book. Fuck the book. If you don't believe in the book, has he talked to you? you. We gonna keep talking. Has he talked to you? Yes, that's how many okay. right now. What his voice sound like? Hey, repent and keep the commandments. That's his What's his voice? Let me get first. First Corinthians three and nine. What is his voice? Hey brother, hey brother, watch the sign, King. Hey, King, what's the sign? If you don't believe in the Bible, fuck that. All right, so what does his voice issue? sound like? You don't believe in the Bible. That's what? the issue. Fuck the Bible. That's a European book. No, it's not. Okay, give me that. No, it's that. not. Give me I some Hebrew. I just gave you some Give me some Hebrew manuscript. Tell him to prove Give me some Hebrew manuscript. Prove it. No, I'm talking about hey, paper I got scroll. the paleo Hebrew word. I'm talking about right paper. Brother, he got, I got the look, Bible right Give me some paper hey, scroll. You don't got that right. Okay, then. Well, what about you? What is, what is the knowledge you talking That's about? That's false. What is the knowledge you Give me some paper scroll. What is the knowledge hey, you talking about? Hey, Give me some paper scroll. Hey, King. Hey, King. Give me hey, some hey, 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 check it out. And I rock with Kuna for him, right? But Give can you, hey, hey, King, hey, King. Give me some in high Hey, you hear me, though? Yes, sir. Now, look, check it out. Check it out. What would it. What would it profit you if we would read everything hey, in Hebrew? Hey, King, King, God, wait, hold on, King. Go ahead, King. I'm gonna, what I'm would it profit you? How would you understand if I were to read to you up in Hebrew? Okay, cool. Now listen to wait, this. Wait, wait, wait. Can, I, can you answer, answer that? I'm finna answer. All right, go ahead, go ahead. If God existed, Yahweh, Yahshua, whoever y'all call, he would know what I need to know in order to believe in him, right? Now, it's my choice to right. follow him. Hold on, King. Go ahead. He should be able to tell you. Now, I, now he did. <laughs> now he did. I'm gonna show you something, right? Not, not I'm gonna show you. Book. I'm gonna show you something, though. Not from a book. Look, no, look, look, look. Hey, hey, look, look, look. Somebody, not from a book. if somebody could pull John chapter five and verse thirty-seven, See, that's from quick. a book, brother, brother. Call on. Ha, now I understand. Look, I, I got. On. Hey, brother, hold on. Right. Hey, brother, I kind of understand you. 
You said that you was raised up in the Baptist church, right? He should hey, wait, wait, wait. Hey, tell hey, you hey, hey, what hey, I hey, need hey, to know hey, hey, in order to believe. And we going to show you. Not All you got to do is hey, tell your listen. God to talk to us And right you know now. what it is? You have me. Tell your God to talk to us right now. Hey, when our people Not was getting. Hey, listen, listen, no. King. Listen, King. King. Listen, you, King. Listen, King. But tell your hey, God. Check it out. Listen. That's falsehood, black no, man. Listen, listen, King. King. Listen, that's, King. Listen, that's listen, falsehood. King. Listen, King. That's now check it out. That's all. That's Semitic. That's Semitic. Hebrew. That's the people. The Haskins. That's exactly who that's from. That's all that's from. That's Haskins. That's it. That's no, not from our people. Real talk. Haskins. Yeah. That's right. So you don't believe in this book? It's cool, brother. Because if you appear to wrote it. No, no, he didn't. Okay, I keep telling you, you this. Okay, everything was. And we give you some Hebrew scripture. Bring it out. No. Look at that. Give me some Hebrew scripture. Give some Hebrew scriptures. And right. we're going on a Bible. That's the Bible. That's the English. That's no, what? No, no. The Bible is written by Jesus. What part do you understand? The Bible is written by Jesus. No, it's not. Yes, it is. He's dead. No. Hey, brother, 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 you almost, look, you almost there. No. No, listen, listen, brother. Hey, brother, are you listening? No, it was not. Are you ready to be corrected, brother? Hey, brother. I need Paleo Hebrew. That's what I need. I need Paleo Hebrew. I need Paleo Hebrew. Dude, King, I just showed you. I'm telling you, you ain't showing me nothing. Reverse is living. Tell your God to come. Yeah, how we got you? Don't worry. Tell you how would have talked to us right now. Tell you how would have talked to us right now. COVID-19 shut your how would No, he didn't. Yes, it we were still outside. Yes, it Brothers yes, were still outside, work. King. Yes, it did. We still took Mask work. off. Okay, what did it say in the Old Testament? Y'all was inside. We now, was outside, it King. The Lord gave the word. That's nothing. That's the King James verse. Yes. That's not a black man. We don't know. It was the company of those that published it. The only time that most existed. So give me something. About, hold on. No. So you're talking about. Absolutely. So why is it? I'm telling you to hold because on. Because I can give you the coffin text. The coffin text? Absolutely. I give you the coffin text. Can you hand that to me? Can you can you read that for me in Kunei form? Prove it. This was not Where's written your books? Where's when your they exist. Where's your proof? Where's this is not written when they Where's exist. Your books? This was not written when they exist. Where's your books? What books? What books? Was written with Exodus. No, no. You said the coffin text. Where's your coffin text? It's right there. Which? The Abdullah text. No, no, no. Bring it. Bring that it kills the flood. Bring Can you show me a scroll? There is no flood. Where's your scroll? Absolutely. It's written in stone. No, that's no. Not. You Can you bring that to it? That's, that's written in stone. Go to Egypt. Okay. You, you can show a picture. Go to Egypt. You don't got your books. It's written in stone. The word of that's God. not. That's a white man book. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Give me something that's written. So where in the Bible that the Lord said it's a white man? Give me something. Give me something that's written by Abdullah. Where in the Bible that the Lord said it's not Give me something. Give me a manuscript that's written by our people. The man told us to give something that's written by our people. Give us something that's written by our people. That's a fucking King James version. Hey, hey brother, is, is your, is your, is your, I'm like, hey, is your problem, like, because I'm it's listening. written, hey, look, I'm, hey, I'm asking, wait, like, hold on. Hold on, King. Hold on, King. Mexicans only exist. You don't want no answers. You don't, you don't want nobody to answer your questions. They are a mix of the You just want to talk? Mexicans. Hold the book of Romans, Mexican. chapter 3 and verse 3. Y'all say they're part of the 13th. For what? Watch this. Watch this. If some did How? not believe. Wait, well, you said what? For what? Yeah, if some, some did not, not believe. believe. The the Bible Bible says, for what? If some you did not, not believe. believe. The Bible says only if some don't believe. 500 years. Shall their unbelief the make the faith book. of God without effect? We don't. Bro. God forbid. Read that, read that from the, the verse again. Bro. Read that from the verse That's again. Romans true. chapter 3 and verse 3. Bring it out. Oh, what if most. some did not believe? What about Abraham? What about Abraham? Says if some what, don't about believe? Abraham? what about Shall Abraham? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Give me some. God forbid. What it says? Brother, what God it forbid. Oh, yeah. So the Bible says if you don't believe in the word that of God. That Bible ain't shit, bro. Then that's your word. Give me that's something true. that was written when Moses existed. But we still want to teach our Give me something that when Moses existed. Give me some with Isaac. Give me some with Jacob. Give me some with Jacob. The Lord gave the word. What was written when Jacob was in? What was the company of dudes? What was written when Isaac? The Lord gave the word, and great was the company of those. What was written when Moses existed? Hey, he giving you, he giving you answers, man. You just gotta wait and listen. You have to listen, brother. That's me. That's over. Listen, that's twenty five hundred years old. That's bullshit, and it's been revived. Is the coffin, hey, is the coffin text bullshit? Absolutely not. You said absolutely. No, 
It's not. Well, well, but it was written by who? It say, was written by man. The Egyptian. And it kept a good record. Now, your flood. The book is called Undeniable. Your flood. And it's you, the pictures. I'm going to kill you right here. I'm going to kill you right here. Look at the pictures, man. You don't want to accept it. I'm going to lay you down like this. Because first he said, show us the Bible. And then I showed the Bible and said he don't believe in the Bible. I'm going to lay him down like this. And then now he's saying, show me another book. So I showed him this book and he wouldn't accept it. Right. That's not no manuscript. Who said it's a manuscript? I'm showing you. Where's the original? Art. That was black uh, images. What's the copyright? What do you mean, what's the copyright? Exactly. That's what you're Matter of fact, speaking of copyright, what's, what's the, the copyright? Copy 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 what's the copyright? Where is your copyright? What is the copyright? On stone. On stone? So bring I'll it. I'll buy it. Bring it. I'll buy it. We got our books. Why you don't got yours? Because that's a man made book. And so that's the issue right I'll there. I'll buy it. You don't believe it. No. Because the book is cool, brother. It's written in. Okay. First, when was the flood? Now I'm a king. I'm going to lay you down soft because I love you. Chapter 2. When was the flood? What day was the flood? The first 20. What day was the flood, bro? That no private What day was the flood? That's any private interpretation. When was the flood? So the prophets came back. When was the flood? By the will of man. We want to know. By the will of man. When was the flood? Does anybody answer that? When was the flood? That's right. When was the flood? That's the white man. When was the flood? When was the flood? By the will of man. When was the flood? By the holy man. Could you answer that? But what? Where was the flood? For what? Speak as it was moved. Hold on, for what? The holy man Where was the flood? The holy man of what? Speak as it was moved. There's no interruption in any civilization. When it comes to the flood. They say the flood. Biblical scholars say the flood. Chapter 11 and verse 20. Hold on. Where was the flood? Where was the flood? God forbid. Where was the flood? Where was the flood? Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Come on, man. Where was hey, the brother. Flood? Where was the flood? Where was the flood? Where was the flood? That's the white man. Where was the flood? Of the tribe of what? Of the tribe of Benjamin. Okay. 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 Of the seed of what Abraham. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Of the seed of Abraham. 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 What? What proof do you have Abraham is Jesus outside that book? Nobody else talking about it. What proof? What proof you have outside of that book? Hey brother, watch the sign, brother. Hey brother, you have. Hey brother, the sign, brother. Hey brother, what proof? Come on, man. What proof you have? Hey brother, we can be respectful, but just please watch the sign. Brother. You got it. You got it. Could you answer the question? that Abraham. Can you answer the question? Okay, my brother. Brother asked about the voice and Abraham obeyed the voice of the Lord. You know, they kept my charge, but you made it. He kept his what? My charge, but you made it. You made it. Abraham kept his what? Answer the question. My charge, but you made it. My statue and my law. So Abraham heard the voice of the Lord of God. Just like our people in the Southern Great Commandment, y'all fucked up. We don't celebrate that. No, I'm saying y'all fucked up. We ain't for rebuking that. Yeah, at the White House, nigga. In a comparison with them, right? Because y'all fucked up. What's going on, sis? Because you can't answer my question. What question, sis? You believe in the Bible, my sis? sis? My sister, my sister question. I never read it. You never read it? But I believe in God, though. You it's believe not. in God, right? Because okay. that's what real. color is God, sis? That was it. That Blank. was told to her. He's black. Uh, that was told to her. Let me just show you one scripture. That was told to her. You got a minute. Let me just show that you one. That was told to her. That was told to her. Hey, that's a straw man. Let me get Daniel 7 and 9. Hey, you hear me, God? That's straw man. Hey, that's straw man. That's straw man. No, we can't because he's not answering the question. He's not putting down facts. We're going to ask 13 questions. No, I answered the question. We know God is a black man, but we want to edify people to know this. Hey, baby. Wait, hold on, King. Hey, King. Hey, King. Daniel. No, Daniel. No. Ain't no man. Stop interrupting the brother, man. Eh? To the twelve what evidence you have you know, that God is the here. ancient of the days did sit, you know, whose garment was whitest to go, and the hair of his head was black. Because that's what they told you. Check this out, Sid. That's what they told you, brother. That's what they told you. Check it out. That's what I know. 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 I behold, your the throne were cast down, you know, and the ancient what? of days did sit. Talking about the ancient of days, is speaking about the Most High. Yeah, but you no read from, from a white man book whose garment was white as oh snow. You, know? you guys are going to celebrate the hair of his head with your life. Now, hold on. Give sis. me your cap. He says the hair of his head is like a what? Now, sis, do the, do the white man have pure hair? No. Man? No. Okay. But it says God is what? What evidence do you have that Jesus exists? Yahshua exists? 
What evidence do you have? What evidence do you have that he existed outside of the bar? Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Stop. What are you doing, brother? I don't care. What evidence? Back up off the side, brother. I ain't got to back off for nothing. I don't got to back off for nothing. What evidence? What evidence did you have that he existed? To the throne were cast down, and the you ancient slave. days they sit, who garnered was white as snow, no, and the hair of his hair were like pure you're, wool. You're but, selected, but, no, he lied, though. Y'all like teaching our people falsehood. That's the shit that our slaves, because they gave the slaves. Christ is a black man. God is a black man. The Hebrew what is evidence, black. What evidence do you have that Jesus existed? Anybody not gonna believe it? But it's not for what evidence that you have Holy that Jesus existed outside of this book? Let's chapter one and verse one. What Bible. evidence did you have? Book of Revelation, that Jesus chapter one and verse one. one. Bring it up. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of who? Fuck of that. Jesus Christ. Hey, oh, shit. Who God gave her to him to show his her grandmother things, told her that. Which must That's surely come to pass. Now jump to verse three. Now actually, what evidence do you have? Verse three. It says verse three. We don't. Blessed what he that read him, blessed he that read him. This is brother's blessed because he read him. What evidence do you have about saying that, buddy? that they hear the words of this prophecy. And you're being huh? blessed because you're hearing the scriptures. Because that's what she's right? talking Now jump to verse 14. Why white men told our slaves that. Slave that. Verse 14. No, they didn't. White men told the slaves that. His hairs were white like wool. And our so people six. was forced. Is a white man going to tell us with that the Messiah is a black man? Our, our people was forced and beat with that. We don't. And white men tell us that. And his eyes were like, we, we had to find that out. We had to find that out. White man told us. Right. We had to find that out. No, you didn't. The white man told us. The church would never teach us this. Oh, white, yes, they did. The you a goddamn liar, bro. The church never taught that Christ was a black man. You a damn liar. They never taught that Christ was a black man. That whole body of Christ was a white man. Exactly. You a damn liar. You a damn liar. You're an Israelite. Right. I'm a slave. 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 You a goddamn liar. He taught you that he looked like that. You a goddamn liar. You a goddamn liar. Take out the information, all right? Yeah. You in this life, sis. You a damn liar. All right? We don't. Slave master talk that Bible to our people. That's why I'm a goddamn liar. Look at all black priests. We're going to talk about our respect, you kid. But he won't answer no questions about it. Answer what? I like unto fine prayers. You know? As if it burned. Answer some questions. So anything that's some bad, that's Answer some questions. Hey, brother. Answer. Brother. What? Watch out, brother. Watch out, brother. Answer some questions. You don't believe it, don't worry about it. It's not me. Answers the question. We dealing you with facts. You! Answers the question. It's verse 30. Bring it out. That's a lie. Bring it out. Bring it out. Tell, tell your God to talk to him. Tell your God to talk to him. Brother, you putting your hands on brother's mouth. My skin is thick. Come on, me. Come on, me. Tell your God. My skin is thick. No, no, no. Tell me. Tell your God. 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 Tell your God upon me. But hold on, I thought this is the white man. Hey, my skin is black, black upon me. me. So don't say his skin is black. We don't. Come back. And my boots are burnt. And what? And my boots are burnt. Now hold that. Get Jeremiah 14 and 2. After this right here. Bring it out. This is Lamentation chapter 4 verse 8. That Vincent, that Vincent is blacker than a coal. They are not known in the streets. It says what? They are not known in the streets. We The skin cleaving to their bones. And it, is, and it is withered. It has become Bring like the top again. Their visage is blacker all, than a bone. Their visage is blacker than a coal. So while we was really interrupted, because Jake don't want us to edify the people, we're still going to teach the word. Hold that. Get First Corinthians 14 and 40. Let me get Proverbs 25, verse 28. Right? And Danielle, let me get... Uh, let me get first, let me get a few chapter 6 and verse 12. You deal with that. You come up here all day. But after this right here, demonstration right here, don't come back up here, man. This is first Corinthians. Hold on, hold on, bring it up, bring it up. First Corinthians, chapter 14, and verse 20. Because see, we do the fact. Deal with facts. Deal with facts. So rest your blood. And I'm beating his ass up. You can't deal with no fact. Don't come back up here. First Corinthians. Real talk. Yeah, I'm telling you that, God. And I'm saying. You're going to say the spirit, out. You're going to say the spirit, out. It's first Corinthians, yeah. chapter 14, yeah. and verse 14. I'm going to look at you. Hey, brother, back away from my brother, King. Whatever consequence, whatever. Now, these, be done. These are in the order. It says what? Now, these, be done. These are in the order. So the scripture says, let all things be done decently and in order. 
right? So when they try to get us out of order, we're gonna stay in order, right? Let me see that. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 25 and verse 28. He that have no rule over his own spirit. He that have no rule over his own spirit, read on. It's like a city that is broken down and without wall. And without walls. You gotta have rule over your own spirit, even when Jake is lying and hearing this and that. Right? Trying to get you all out of the spirit. You still gotta maintain the spirit. Huh? God. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. Bring it out. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Right, so this is not a physical war. What? But against principality. What against what? But against principality. Get Exodus 11 and 7. You know? Against powers. You know? Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. You know? Against spiritual wickedness in high place. Against what? Against spiritual wickedness in high place. Right. So Jake is going to try to come at us, try to get us off our spirit when he's going to go to God. Why? Because we don't want the word to come out. But guess what? The Lord is still mocking us because the sister pulled through and she believed in the scriptures. God, huh? uh. no matter what, she believes it. And then you try to force it to my age, and you heard that from church. Oh, no. this is the word of the Lord. Bring it out. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 11 and verse 7. Bring it out. But against any children of Israel shall not a God move his tongue. Right. So that's like the brother we can't talk to. He's talking about Egypt. Let's see what the Lord said about Egypt. You know? Against man or beast. Against man or beast. You know? That he may know how the Lord. That he, he may know how that the Lord do put a difference between Egyptian and Israel. The Lord put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So when it comes to Egyptology, we're not dealing with that. When it comes to the coffin text, we're not dealing with that. Our people don't want to believe in the word of God, and guess what? The most high gonna get them. Let me get Proverbs 17 verse 11. God. Proverbs 17 verse 11. Right? We gotta stay in the spirit. Alright, let me get Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. This Proverbs chapter 17, verse 11. Bring it out. An evil man seeking only rebellion. Read on. Therefore, a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. So that's right there. Right? He's going against the word of the Lord. That's the Lord got him. We ain't got to do nothing about it. We did our part. We did our job. Huh? Bring what you got. It's the book of Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. You shall meditate therein day and night. Now get Matthew 24, verse 37. Because he can't ask no question. Ain't no way to ask no question. And I don't need nobody behind me. I'm by myself. Ain't no coming back up here on the mountain. It's open. Bring it out. Bring it out. Matthew 24. Verse 37. Bring it out. I love you, God. But there are the days of no more. We're so shall also be coming of the son of the man of the For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, and marrying and giving in the marriage, until the day that no entered, that no no what? That no one enter into the ark. And they do not until the flood came and took them all away. So the people didn't know until the flood came. Why? Because as we're teaching the words of the Lord, the people ain't gonna believe. What is that flood? That's judgment that's coming. And as judgment is coming, a lot of people that don't believe, they're gonna get swept away. But we still gotta build that ark. Huh? Huh? So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And the people ain't gonna understand that Yahweh Shai is pulling up. They're not gonna understand that he's coming. But what's happening in the world right now, these are signs of the times that we're living in. Let me get Revelation chapter 16 and verse 18. These the are the signs and the times that we're living in right now. People ain't gonna believe. Right? This is what we gotta deal with, but we still gotta stay in the spirit. Bring it out. Revelation chapter 16 and verse 8. And the man and the fourth angel poured out his burdens upon the sun, and the power was given to him to scorn man with faith. Right, so it says the fourth angel poured out his fire out of the sun, right? And the power was given unto him to scorch men on the earth. What is that talking about? Prophecy. What is happening today? It said three times in a row, third day in a row of the week, the hottest day in the world right now. Read that part again. And the fourth angel poured out his fire upon the sun, and power was given to him to scorch men with fire. To scorch men with fire, right? So the hottest day ever in the history of the world happened three days ago, and it's record breaking each day. 
This is part of prophecy. Huh? Okay. Where would you got at? This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 1. Bring it out. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in thyself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time. That is the very same time wherein this is the very same time wherein what? Wherein the highest will begin to visit the world right, which so, is made. Right, so our people don't understand the times that we're in. Yahweh Shai is coming. So there was an increase of the sun. Not just that. Bring what you got. Matthew 24 and 6. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 6. Bring it out. And you shall hear wars and, ru and rumors of war. Right, we shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Right, World War Three, China, Russia, Iran, all coming against America. This is biblical prophecy. Right? Let me get Isaiah 6 and 9. Right, we on? See that ye not, ye not trouble, for all these days must come to pass. Right, all of this is happening right now, right in front of everybody's eyes, we on? But the end is not yet. But the end ain't coming yet, right? This is a spiritual war. So our job is to do what? Teach the word of the Lord, prophesy unto the people, try to edify the people. Everybody ain't gonna listen, it's not for everybody. Bring what you got. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter six and verse nine. Bring it out. And he said, go and tell this people Hear ye indeed, but understand not. Right, this ain't for everybody. You know what? And see ye indeed, but perceive not. And they're not going to understand it. But well, we can't knock them for that. Right? Because they don't got the eyes. They don't got the eyes to see it. The most high blind is But our job is to do what? To speak to those that want to listen. Not? Uh -huh. And what was the conversation we had today? Staying in this. Right? this gets Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears. Right, so as long as our people is going against the word of God, the Lord ain't going to be able to understand. So they can have any kind of book that they have that they want to put, push throughout the streets, the Lord ain't going to be able to understand. There's going to be Muslims, there's going to be Christians, there's going to be Egyptologists, there's going to be Lutherans, there's going to be all different types of denominations in these times. But the ones that got the word of the Lord, the truth, are who? The Hebrew Israelites. Huh? Oh, God. Man, let me get, uh, let me get Isaiah 6 and verse 7. Proverbs, chapter 6, and verse 23. Bring it out. For the commandments is a lamp. For the commandments is a what? For the commandments is a lamp. Right, it's a lamp. In the midst of darkness, you have to be that light, you know? In the Lord's light. In the what? In the, In the Lord's, Lord's light. light. And those that are keeping the law, they shine like the light. Let me get back to chapter 5. And uh, verse uh, 14. Let's see what it's out. Hold that real quick. Get that one. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, and verse 7. Oh. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses. So the Lord says he's going to put all these curses. So right now the blacks and the Spanish are suffering curses. Whether our people here or forbid or not. Right? Now pretend to these curses. What's happening in the White House right now? Read on. We'll put all these curses upon thy enemies. Upon who? Upon thy enemies. So what's happening to Joe Biden right now? They found in the White House he had crack cocaine. Right? Now the same thing they put on our people all throughout these generations, destroy our neighborhoods and the ghettos, you had the most sides having to go against them. You know? And on them that hate thee. And on them that what? And on them, them that, that hate, hate thee. And on them that hate us. Who's the one that hate us? All right? Hold that real quick. Let me get Ezekiel chapter 35. Uh, verse 5. Ezekiel chapter 35. This is Ezekiel, chapter 34, and verse 4. Bring it out. out. Because thou hast a perpetual hatred, that has shed its blood and the church of Israel by the force of the sword. 
in the time of their calamity, in the time of their iniquities, had a hand. Therefore I live, saith the Lord, the Lord of God, I will prepare thee above blood. Right, so he's speaking about Esau. Esau has a hatred towards us. So the Lord says, don't prepare blood unto Esau for what he has done unto the children of Israel. So now what's happening, everything he's done unto us, for the Lord's time, they backfire on him. So all the drugs they put in our neighborhood, crack cocaine, all this stuff, we got the drug dealers now, what's happening now? Most times having it backfire on him. So the king of Egypt and his son, the prince, is actually a crackhead now, right? The man's name is Hunter Biden, right? So go back to Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 30, and verse 7. For you. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies. And on them that hate thee. Right, so now the Lord God is putting these drugs on these enemies. And those that hate us, you know. Which persecuted thee. You see, which persecuted us, right? Like what's happening right now? The police officers are shooting all our people down, right? They done gra literally grabbed a woman, a so-called black woman, and slammed her. I think that was in Indiana. And what's happening? Police brutality. That's what's going on in these times right now. Let me get Psalm chapter 10. Right? A lot of stuff is happening. You know? The sun is heating everything up. Oh yeah, let me get um let me get uh June chapter uh 147. Let me get June 1 and 7. Alright? So prophecy is happening right now. Right? You got the Sodomites, the gay parade, pride parade. They had an announcement that said they're coming out to get children. Right? Now, the thing with that, hold that. Let me get Psalm 126. Uh, 127 is good. So, like I said, the scripture is the word here for everybody, right? It's only for us to listen as in a heart. People try to stall, they try to prove their point, all this stuff, but guess what? We're all going to do it. We just got to keep the word here. Huh? Okay. That's it. Verse Bring it out. So, have the word 27, verse 3. Bring it out. So, children are the heritage of the Lord. Right, so the children is a blessing from the Lord. But what the LGBT said is that we're coming after the children. The Sodomites is coming after our children. Why? Because they're trying to convert them into the ways of wickedness. But there's a balance right now. There's light against darkness, you know? And the fruit of his womb is his reward. And the what? And the fruit of the womb is his reward. Right, that's the reward from the Lord, to have a child. But our, ch our children today, they have no order. They're out of order. They have no guidance. They got no leadership. Alright? Now bring it to you. Mr. Book of Two, chapter 1 and verse 7. Bring it, it out. Even as Solomon and Gomorrah and the cities about them in a like manner, giving themselves over to fornication. Right, so Sodom and Gomorrah with the Sodomites gave themselves over to fornication, you know? And going after strange flesh. And going after what? And going, going after, after strange, strange flesh. flesh. So homosexuality, that's a man laying with another man. That's strange flesh. A woman laying with another woman. That's strange flesh, you know? Are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Right, so set as an example. Because the wicked, the Lord got sworn for the day from the vengeance of eternal fire. Right, the vengeance of eternal fire is speaking about the lake of fire. Right, that's speaking about the lake of fire that's coming. So the sun is heating up, it is the hottest day on the earth right now. And that is nothing compared to the nuclear bomb that's going to be dropped in America. All right? Let me get Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. What did they hear? What did they pull there? It's still going to teach you Let the word just be stopped. The sister was able to pick up and listen, get our job. Uh, bring it out. Right. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 4 and verse 1. Bring it out. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Right, the day that's coming that shall burn as an oven. You know what? And all the proud. In order what? And all the proud. That they got for pride, but all the proud, you know what? Yay! And all that do wickedly. All that do wickedly, sodomites, which is the wickedness, right? You know? Shall be stubble. Shall be what? Shall, shall be, be stubble. Shall be stubble. Right? Yeah, that's judgment of the Lord. Drop that. Let me get a bit of this 20 and 13. 
This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, and verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lie with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Right, so with the Sodomites, the law has them set up for judgment already. Because now they're trying to aim towards our children, and they want to convert the little boys into girls. They want to tell little boys it's okay for a little boy to have sex with another little boy. That's homosexuality. And that's judgment, that's laws in the Bible. Like I said once again, everybody don't believe in the Bible, but guess what? The word of God is going to come out. Huh? Oh, God. Drop that. Let me get Isaiah chapter 55. Book of Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11. Bring it out. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. All right, so the word of God is going to come out, you know. It shall not return unto me void. All right, so the prophecies, whatever the Most High prophesied in the Bible that's happening right now, every one of his word is manifesting from the sun heating up the world, from the earthquakes happening right now, from the tsunamis right now, everything is manifesting. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall I respect y'all, I love y'all, but that shit over with right here. Hey, how many times you gonna say something like that? Okay, I'm just saying. I'm saying, I'm saying you're just saying it a lot. Don't come up here, man. Uh, we're gonna do the work of the Lord. Bring it up. Real talk. Bring it up. I'm dead serious. Don't come up here again. Right, we doing the work of the Lord, man. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Let the Lord strike me down. Go ahead, brother. He might. Let the Lord strike me down. Don't worry about it. We got it. Let the Lord strike me down. I'm just going. Give it to me. What y'all do? But don't come up here again. See, brother, don't leave, brother. No, you don't got to go nowhere. That's my error. Let him go. We got it. We got it. I ain't got to go nowhere. You see? Set the man, set the face against Massonier. I don't. The against, against, who? against Massonier. He said, set your face against Massonier. Mount Seer is speaking no, about the white man. Do. Right? But don't come they up here again. Come on, brother. And the promise, right? and the prophecy against it. Don't do that. Bring don't come up, up here again. They said it to them, that was the Lord God. They said it to them, that was the Lord God. They said it to the Lord God. You know what? You know what? I am against thee. I'm telling you what? I am against thee. So God is against America. You know what? No, it's not on my head. Okay. I can't see. Ahead, I'm just saying. You're not going to threaten me too many me times, brother. I'm not going to threaten me. Okay. Don't do it. You, you can take it how you want to take it right now. I will let the city place. It you shall be desolate. So what is the Lord going to do to America? Go ahead. Be, I will let the city place. It shall be desolate. What is the Lord going to do to America? I will let the city place. And thou shall be desolate. So the Lord going to lay America to waste. Now that's speaking about nuclear missiles. Don't come up here. Right? The Lord is going to lay this place to waste with nuclear missiles. Water, water, water. All right, let's get First Corinthians 14 and 20 again. All right. Bring it up. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 14 and verse 40. Bring it up. Let all things be done decently and in order. What the scripture says? Let all things be done decently and in order. All right, so we're going to see the word of God as a metaphor. Don't threaten me. We're going to do it decently and in order. All right. We're going to do it decently and in order. Huh? Right. We ain't got, got time to time go back and He got one more time to threaten me. I'm... Right? Second Edge chapter 15 and verse 1. Second Edge 15 and 1. Let's go. Second Edge 15 and 1. We got it. Get whoever got it. This is the book of Second Edge chapter 15 and verse 1. Bring it out. Behold, speak. Down in the ears of my people, the words of prophecy. Right, so our job is supposed to speak the words of prophecy, you know? Which I will put in thy mouth. Which the Lord is going to put in our mouth, you know? Say of the Lord. You know? And cause them to be written in paper, for they are fulfilled, or so like, they are faithful and true. Right, read that, read that verse again. Right, and cause them, the verse, verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper. For they are faithful and true. Right. So it's caused to be written in paper because it's faithful and true. The Lord told us to write these scriptures down. 
write the prophecies down. This is part of the Bible. The Bible is a book of history and prophecy. It's not for everybody to hear to understand. But guess what? That's not their job. Our job is supposed to teach the word of the Lord. Huh? Um, That's our job. Right? Let me get Psalm chapter 23. Uh, you got? Ezekiel, Ezekiel, chapter 2, the first star. Bring it out. And then, and then, what are they going to hear? Or what are they going to forbid? For they are a rebellious house. Yes, so know that they have been perfect among them. Right. This is the Bible. It's showing you what's happening. They're not going to listen. We just keep teaching. We just keep prophesying. God? God. God. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them. Then be afraid of their words to bury us in thorns. Be with thee. And thou dwell among scorpions. Be not afraid of their words. Nor dismay at their looks. Do they be a rebellious house. He said, no dismay at their what? No dismay at their looks. And what just happened, huh? Huh? You to stay you down. Yeah, you ain't not going to stare me down. You know what? Do there be a rebellious house? And then shall I speak my words to turn up. But the job is to do what? Then I shall speak my words to turn up. You still got to speak the words. Right. So we're in the midst of scorpions. Our, our job is to do what? Still speak the words. Right. It's as simple as that. Huh? All right. Let me see that. Jeremiah 1 and 10. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1 and verse 10. Bring it up. See. I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdom. Let me get Jeremiah 28 verse 10. To root out and to, to pull down. So our job is supposed to root out wickedness, read on. To pull down and to destroy and to throw down. And that's to do what? Cast down the strongholds. Right. right? The mental images. Right? The brother said hey, Christ was a uh, black, a uh, white man, and here we are. King James a white man. Nah, that's not what it is. Even the little girl already knew that Christ was a black man. God is a black man. So she got to cast down to the strongholds already. She don't got those type of strongholds, all those mental delusions. Right? But with him, he stuck with the Egypt power. So you can't get a person out there. What you gotta do is continue to do what? Edify your people. Right? Let me see that. 28 and verse 8. 28 and verse 8. Let me get Exodus 28. Jeremiah, chapter 28 and verse 8. Yeah. The prophets that have been before me and before the uh, and before the old prophesied, both against many countries and against great kingdoms of right. war. They did what? And the, the gate. And the prophets that been before me and before the old prophesied, both against many countries and against great kingdoms. So our job, like we did at DC, we put up the DC and we prophesied against the capital. Right? For the wickedness they have done it to the black and Hispanic the Americans. Right? So now what's happening? The Lord is breaking down their strongholds. Because they're teaching our people who they truly are. You know? Bring it out again. And against great kingdoms, the war, the prophets, that have been before me, and before the old prophesied, both against many countries, and against the great kingdom, the wars of the ages. Of what? The wars of the ages. So what's coming to America? What's coming? War. War is coming what? to America. The war, right. war is coming to America. Period. We gotta get ourselves ready in the spirit. Right? Read that again. Read that again. The prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied move against many countries and against many great kingdoms. A war of the evil. A war of the evil. And that's our job. America is falling. So while America is falling, what is happening? Let me get back to Psalm verse 26. Alright? Stay in order, we just stay in the spirit. Hebrews 1 and 12. Matthews, chapter 12, verse 26. Bring it out. And if Satan cast out Satan. Right, so if the white man casting out the next white man, if Joe Biden going against Donald Trump, right? If Satan is casting out Satan, read on. He is divided against himself. So what's happening to America? The kingdom is being split. Right? Is is the liberals, is the politics, and the Democratic and Republican, everything is being split. What is happening? The Lord is destroying America like he did to Egypt. And when that happens, jump to verse 36. Verse 36. But I said to you that every other word that man shall speak. And that's why I say, stay in the spirit. Why? You know? 
they shall give account the real for the dead church. So when the dude cursed out the Most High, cursed out the Bible, cursed out Isaiah, said, F your God, this and that, the Lord is reporting all this. But it's how we deal with it. God? God. Give me a mark. It's how we deal with it. Right? First Peter chapter, uh, First Timothy 2 and 3. You're going to have to give account for the day of judgment. Right? First Timothy 2 and 3. So the Lord's going to test us with our patience. He's going to see if we really going to do what we say we're going to do. Are you going to continue to stay in the spirit? Why they keep talking? So now what's happening? They keep going back and talking here and now. Right? He's joking and now you know that. We're not moving. We're going to continue to keep the way we do. We can't do that. Why? Because Satan ain't going to win against us. Huh? Right? God. Bring it out. This is First Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 3. Bring it out. For this is a good and acceptable in the sight of the God, our Savior. Yeah, this ain't this ain't this ain't this ain't a king wall. <laughs> you know, the only your face every now and then be like, bro. You know, but the key point to this is what? Continue to do your job. God? God. Right. It ain't easy, man. But I was talking the whole day about it. Now, you want to say, all right, go ahead. Let's see what you're gonna do. So continue to do your job. Bring it out. Uh, are y'all bring this to It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 4 and verse 12. Bring it out! For the word of the God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two and sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. See, the word of God is sharper than any two and sword. This is a spiritual war. Right, you know And of the joint and moral, and is a descender of the thought and intent of the heart. Right, so whenever we open up this Bible and you notice what's happening, when we, teach, when we talk about own opinion, it's cool. Right? But whenever a verse is coming out, that's where we get roused up. Now we start to go against us. Why? He don't got an issue with us. He got an issue with the Lord. That's why. He got an issue with the Most High God in the world. Right? But well, let me get uh, Exodus chapter 24. Uh, 24 and verse 14. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 24, and verse 14. Bring it out. And he said unto the elders, Terry, ye here for us until we come again unto you. Exodus chapter 24, verse 16. Bring it out. And the glory of the Lord upon, upon Mount Sinai. And the cloud covered it six days. And the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud. Right, so he called unto Moses. Now jump to verse 14. Like jump to verse uh, 12. Verse 12. And the Lord said unto Moses, Come up to me unto the mount and be there, and I will give thee table of stone. So this is the Lord calling up Moses, and he's going to give me the table of stone. You know? And a law and commandment, you know? which I have written. Which he have what? Which I have written. So this is what the Bible says. It says, which the Most High has written with what? That thou mayest teach them. So it says the Lord written the commandments and gave it unto Moses. But like I said again, everybody ain't going to believe it. All right? So now what happened? The Lord written the commandments and gave it unto Moses, and now gave the spirit unto the holy men to write down the scriptures as a record for the Bible. This is our history book. Anybody's not gonna believe this. When we talk about the transatlantic slave trade, anybody know about the transatlantic slave trade? When we tell them it's in the Bible and they don't believe it, then what do you gotta do with it? Right? Bring what you got out. First Timothy, chapter two and verse three. Yeah. Get it and do a harness as a good shooter. As a good soldier. So Christ said what? As a good soldier. So it says, Yahweh said, endure hardness as a what? As, as a, a good, good soldier. soldier. As a good soldier. So when a soldier, you gotta be willing to take brothers and try to speak whatever here and there, screaming and all of that stuff. You gotta be willing to take that. But well, you gotta also control your spirit, man. You know what? Of Jesus Christ. No man that's born 
and turn him and turn to himself with the affairs of the life. Read that part again. Hey, let me no. get Romans chapter 12 and verse uh, 2. Alright. It says, Endure all hardness and be a good soldier of Yahweh shot. Right? So it says, no man that work or entangled with the ways of his lifestyle. Of his life. Right? Read that again. No man that war entangled himself with the affairs of, of this life. See? No man that's going to war and entangle himself with the affairs of this world that's happening right now. Everybody's thinking about sports, thinking about having a good time, eating and drinking, right? Fornicating, partying, but they don't understand. This is of the world. The Lord ain't dealing with you. But as a soldier, you got to separate yourself from the ways of the world. This is a war. Physical and spiritual. All right? First John 2 and 15. Bring it to us. It's the book of Romans. Chapter 12 and verse 2. Bring it out. And be not conformed to this world. So the Lord said, don't be conformed to this world. The lifestyle of the living, you know? But be ye transformed. But be ye transformed by what? By the renewing of your mind. Right. And once you change your mind, you change your spirit. You start to light up. You start to glow up. That's you letting your light shine. That's you getting that part of too, you know? Then ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Right. But you got to prove the Lord's going to prove you. Right. So what is the good acceptable will of God? Is you teaching the people, keeping the commandments of Yahweh by Shino Shah. Bring what you got out. Verse 2. Chapter 2. Verse 2. Chapter 2. Verse 15. Bring it out. Love not the world. What is that? Love, love not, not the, the world. world. Don't love this world. You know These are the days that are in the world. If any man loves the world, and love, the love of the Father is not in him. Right. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Why? Because if you love the world, you'll tie that into what? Money. Right? Like the saying goes, money does what? Make the world go around. Uh. Right? Well, now what's happening? Let me get First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 10. Right? All these Hollywood celebrities, they're getting rich. They're making a contract, but they're making it off the money that they're selling for what? When they're behind. Let me get Sarah right chapter 10 and verse 9. Right? They had an all white party in Hollywood. Uh, an all white party. I'm talking about the new name. I think it's Miguel Rubin. Or, no, Michael Rubin. And he had an all white party. And all the celebrities put up Beyonce, Jay Z, uh, Neo, Chris Brown, you think even the sports celebrities, everybody put up. Kim Kardashian, everybody pulled up for the white party. All white party, right? But what happened in that party? You know that real quick. Let me get that right to for a second. Say yeah. right, chapter 10, verse 9. Bring it out. The waste of earth and ashes pass. You know That there are no more wicked deeds than a converted man. For such as one said it, his own soul to sell. For, what? For such as one said it, his own soul to sell. Right, so it says a high class celebrity, right? The sellouts, they'll sell their own soul to sell. Right? They won't right. teach our people the truth. They'll just leave them how you drive. Hey, who screamed? Him? Huh? Why? Teaching the word, man. Why yeah. is he screaming? Let me show you why. Isaiah 58 and 1. Can't nobody hear you? Check this out. Bring it out. Isaiah 58 and 1. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter Isaiah. 58 and verse 1. Bring it out. Oh. Cry aloud. The Lord said, Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Why are we screaming? Cry, Cry aloud. The Lord said, Cry aloud. Everybody's not going to listen to it and hear it, but it's only for those that want to listen. Our job is supposed to teach the Bible. Let our blacks and Hispanics and people know But you're not coming. teaching the Bible. We need that. You niggas don't even know the Bible. Then how we know the scripture? You niggas want Y'all don't know the Bible. All right, look. I got one question. God made a book about him, right? And that's this book, right? Not just about him. It's about All right, what about the devil? The devil? There ain't, ain't no book about the devil? Oh, yeah. Where's well, that? Let me get 1 John chapter 3, verse 10. Let I know. You know. You know what's crazy? I'm this sure. is the book about the devil, nigga. Hey Sean, what's up? Tell them to ask their God to talk to us right now. I just, I just said this. No, I just said God. this, man. To talk to us. You know what I asked him? You know what I asked him? I said, what a book at about the devil? What a book at about the devil? That is the book about the devil. Tell their God to talk to us. What you say, right? Now check this. Check this. Hold that. 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 It is, it is, though, bro. Because you ain't got no historical facts. Dude, 
or historical facts to back up the first six. Bring it out. You don't. You don't see. That off. Listen, bro. You hear me? Listen. You have no historical facts. Isaiah. No, I'm saying. We are gods. We are gods. I said, ye are gods. No, we cannot hear you. Isaiah is Ezekiel. Who is it? Isaiah is Ezekiel. Who is it? Ye are God. Who is it? Ye are God. I said, Ye are God. Ezekiel. Ezekiel, right? Ezekiel. No, Hebrew, Ezekiel. The Bible said, We are the God's Ezekiel. I'm saying, Ezekiel. I know what I'm demonstrating. Hey, look. Let me get John Taylor. Guess what? Listen to me. I know what I'm demonstrating. Ezekiel. That's right. Jeremiah is Jeremiah. I know what I'm demonstrating. Yeremiah, when you demonstrate Jeremiah, Yeremiah, Isaiah, John, chapter 10, verse 34. Bring it out. And Jesus answered them, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. 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 Okay, so why do you, why you celebrate a mystery God here? No, why you niggas Why you celebrate a mystery right, God? Man. Hold on, wait a minute. Why you celebrate a mystery God? If the book says you are God, God, why do you celebrate a mystery God? Because he's the most like that, that book. Is okay, book. what the martial I'm evidence saying, that you yes. have this God is? That book is not right. Hey, if you don't believe it, that's what? what I'm no, doing. I'm not hey, saying that. I'm not you. saying that, King. I, I said, what the martial evidence that you can give me right now that your God exists outside of you? Because everything that exists within you already exists in the universe. So what the martial evidence for y'all? This is like the Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7. Bring it out! For we walk by faith and not by sight. We don't. It's over with. We are confident, I say, don't and up, willing rather to be absent from the it's body bullshit. and to be present with but the Lord. Love this and to be present with the Lord. So like you said, kid, you don't know what the Lord means. That's all I need. Or don't. Okay, so why do you celebrate any God outside of you? No, the I'm most high God is different from us. Why do He's you the one celebrate that we gotta any God? Because the old civilization, oh, they didn't man. believe in any, uh, the Bible, any belief in any God that's yeah. outside of us is only 6,000 years old. So man has that? been here for 500,000 years. And we, we understand yeah. nature. And get this is right to nature. Nature. chapter 8. In verse number five, for those that be that are called are called God. Called God. Called God. Okay. Whether in heaven or in earth. And there be many, and there be God's many, and Lord's many. But to us there be but one God. But to us there be but one God. The Father. The what? The word God comes from the man. It's of whom are all so things. you saying God. And we in hell. That is not what the Hebrew Lord, said. Yahweh said, Hamashiach. That's not what the Hebrew said. And one Lord, Yahweh said. Hamashiach. That's what the Hebrew said. Shut the fuck up. God comes from death. But to us, God comes from death. But one God. God comes from death. So you saying God. all things. It's a dramatic term. Are you a big time? Yahweh's son, am I right? It's a you a big time. Are all things? God comes from death. By who? God comes from death. And you saying God? God comes from death. It's a dramatic turn. That's the European doctrine. That's the European doctrine. That's the European doctrine. Answer my question, bro. God comes from death. No, it does not. Yes, it does. Give me no, the history of it. The Give word. Give me the 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 word. Give
you read the European book and you see God. So that he will not give to any of them the flesh of his children whom he shall eat. Y'all gotta be right. Science is everything. Comedic science is everything. Exodus 63. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you you all here going crazy, dude. I'm I'm just teaching them though. I'm teaching them. You can't be talking about your Hebrew Israelite and using the word God. You there's no way in the world you can be a Hebrew Israelite and use the word God. The most high truth no is Yahweh. Okay, but you read from a European text the same God. It's translated in English because of So what? The Speak the original God. language, Hebrew. Speak it? Do you understand what I'm speaking speak right now? Speak it. Absolutely. You, I but now it's about your money. All right. Repeat, Absolutely. Repeat what I'm saying right but now. But you won't. No, no, hold on, hold on. Use God. Repeat what I'm saying. You cannot break down, God. Break down what I'm saying That's right now. That's a dramatic I'm not term. Break, I'm not saying God right now. Listen, I don't care. I but now it's about your money. Don't bug dance. Hold on. No, no, no. I'm not bug dancing. You bug dancing right now. I'm saying the picture of him. You use the word God. No. And he read. Hold on. I'm saying the picture of him. That's a dramatic term. It comes from that. It comes from that. Get your shit together, bro. Real talk. If y'all gonna come out here and teach, get your shit together. The book of the Lord? Did you just say Lord? The Most High. Yahweh. Lord? Yahweh. No. Did you just say Lord? Yeah. What does Lord also mean? Did you say Lord? What does Lord also mean? Did you say Lord? What does Lord also mean? It's a Canaanite. It's a Canaanite deity. Lord also no, it's not. Like a master. Yes, it is. That's not. I promise you. Lord also means like a master. That's the Canaan idea. You, you, right? need you need to study some more. You need to study some more. You don't know what the hell what you're talking about. Show me where the word Lord is. Mr. Book of Exodus. It's a Canaan idea. And verse 3. Lord comes from God. Appearance to Abraham and Isaac. No. Teach so Anna. Tell, tell me wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. Anna to Jacob. You don't even know. By the name. Yahweh Almighty, the Lord, Yahweh Almighty, translated. Yahweh Almighty. Now, check this. It's bad. Read that again. It's bad. Read that again. And I appear to it's Abraham. Yeah, read the chapter. Now chapter. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 6, and verse 3. Look at it up. And I appear to Abraham. Unto Isaac and unto Jacob. Come on. Get unto Abraham. Get your shit together. By the name of Yahweh Almighty. By the name of Yahweh Almighty. By the name of Yahweh in New York. They got that shit together. Now you know what's crazy? You got it fucked up. You know what's crazy? Down on the phone. You got it fucked up. So when I tell Jake. Because the Lord's man's in him, don't never say bow, God, or anything, or Lord. We, we say Yahweh. And we say Yahweh. But you say God. Because we're reading it from the book. Brother, oh, in, book. Brother, I'm a, book. Hey, brother, I'm finna school you real quick. Hey, listen. I'm finna school you real quick. Cause you talking about God comes from Gad. Wait, hold on, brother. I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna show him something real quick. Right? The word, the word Lord in all caps. Hold on. The word Lord in all caps is a transliteration. Okay. Coming from hold on. 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 The word. Oh, so now you want to talk when you getting when you getting the real education, right? You tell me some. You got. You should put your hand over your mouth and allow yourself to be told. But since Lord, you don't want to do so, no your ass is marked. No your ass can go back to Kimmy, and it's going to be a hey, shalom no right to you, man. The lower case or small case, it's the same thing. It's battle. Let's keep the work going. Shalom, King. It's battle. Shalom, King. I don't care if you have lower cap. Anyway. Right. Anyway. No, we not. No, we not. Who are you? What evidence do you have? What's your evidence? What? Who are you? What's your name? No. Where you from? No, we don't kill the last night. No, no. See that? Where did the Chinese man come from? The Lord did that. Where do the Chinese man come from? From what? Where did Arab come from? From Africa. Who is Africa? Neo Africanists? Bring it out, man. That's what. Kimmy. Yes, sir. Kimmy. What is Kimmy? Give me the Martian evidence. Give me the Okay. Give us the Egyptian. Okay. Give me the Martian evidence. Give me God. What about your God? How you look at the same God? No, I don't. Right, because you chose, no, I don't. you chose no, what, I don't. what was handed down to you. Man, no, you had. No, I didn't. I did my research, bro. Where do you read from? Man has been here for over Where do you read from? Hold on, pardon the body, y'all. Man has been here for over 500,000 years. Been here where? This on Earth. On Earth, 900,000 years? For over 500. Where you get that? No, we're not. We're not archaeological evidence. 
archaeological evidence. Yeah. Show it to me. Yeah. We have. Show it to me. We have. Where the artifacts at? Come on. Come on, bro. Hey, you got key around this. Now, what <laughs> you got Chinese, you what? got Japanese, you got, you got, hold you got up, you got all. They come from us. They came from Adam. They came from Adam. They came from Adam. But what the Almighty happened? chose one. What he chose right. one. What he, chose he, one. What he, he chose two. He chose three. He chose one. 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 Hold on, bro. Because we fit all the scriptures. We fit all the prophecies in the Bible. Right. Ain't no right man wrote, told you you was royalty. Give me an original script. You royalty. Give me an original script. And those same things is right, man. You come on. Give me an original script. Give me an original script. Give me an original That's right. That's right. That's right. Hey, give me original script. Whoa, whoa. Give me original script. Bring it out. That's in, that's <laughs> <laughs> now he cut you up. No. He cut you up. He embarrassed you. He embarrassed you. Give me some original script. He embarrassed you. Y'all can't deal with that. Y'all read from Hebrew. It has to be. Out of us Whom thou made is Lord of all thy creatures. Of him come we all. We all come from Adam, we all. The also, also, whom thou hast chosen. He is chosen. Who is chosen? 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 No. Nah. The world was created for us. But the problem is, all people don't know who we are. Let me get Jeremiah to come He got embarrassed. He got embarrassed. See that? A brother, a flea brother with a key around his neck. The Lord brought him over here to, to tear his ass up, bro. It's too bad. Chuck 17. The first floor. Bring it out. From the heritage, the Lord said we're going to stop from knowing who we truly are. The Bible is our book. Nowhere in the Bible that it said the white man wrote this book. Right. Wrote this book. That's why if we say we're Hebrew Israelites, we want to shut everything down. But when we say we're Christian, they got no problem. We say we're Muslim, they got no problem. We say we're damn Lutheran, they got no problem. When we say we're the real Jews, now everybody want to stop us. Why? But it's the truth. That's why, hey, King, what happened to Kanye West when he said he's a real Jew? He lost his billion dollars in the span of a day. Right. What happened to Kyrie Irving when he says he's a real Jew? Now they kicked him off the team. What happened to Ice Cube when he right. says he's a real Jew? What about Nick, 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 Cannon. Money. Nick Cannon? What happened to Nick Cannon when he had the Wild and Out show he says he's a real Jew? They he stopped the show for one, one year. Why? God is trying to show y'all, y'all the real Jew. Right. Y'all claim as anything else. Nobody got a problem with it. Why? Because y'all not coming to the truth. When y'all find out that y'all really the Hebrew Israelites, that's when everything stops. Right. That's when it stops. Now we understand how people don't want us to hear it. They don't want to hear it. But like I said, it's not for everybody. The brother literally came out the car. No, he's an Israelite. Right. It's for everybody. We only hear for those that want to listen. Because whether they know it or not, the truth is going to come out. And then we got to come in every week. To teach the word of the Lord. So over there waiting in front of the liquor store for for Hawk to come out. But the Lord is the one that's going to bring this out, man. Really, see that. It will come deep to serve our enemies. And the Lord's going to punish the serve our enemies. This is part of the prophecy. All right, mighty king? You're a real Jew, king. God's chosen people, man. You're a king on the earth. Right. Don't let nobody try to change your mind and teach you different. You got any questions? We're asking questions right now. We're here to teach our people, man. Right? The pastor wouldn't do it. He mad as hell. The pastor ain't coming to you. Yeah, he mad as hell. He got cut up. He waiting for the liquor yeah. store. <laughs> he got embarrassed. And a man which thou knowest not, for he have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Right. So the brother, you try to teach him, you know what I mean? He's talking about the Hebrew. Say anything in Hebrew. I'm about to repeat the Lord's prayer in Paleo Hebrew. He don't want to hear it. I say, Lord, and then now he said, hey, that's Baal. And I said, no, we're talking about Yahweh. Now you don't want to hear it. See? Well, guess what? Look at the chapter. Let me get Romans 11 and 4. 
That's good articulation. The whole point of Jake right now is that Jake is trying to get us off the block. That's the whole point. You're right. He's mad. He's trying to get us off the block. But he said we're going to teach the word of the Lord. The Lord even brought him back up. Brother right. with the damn keychain. Right? And look, see? Now you got to deal with him while we edify the people. All right. Hey, bring it out. Woo! Tell the baby to bring the Lord. Bring it out. No. But what's saying? We're saying the answer of God to him. I reserve to myself 7,000 men. The Lord said he has to reserve 7,000 men. What is happening? As we keep teaching, what's going to happen around? Little by little, we're starting to listen. All right. You know? Who have not bowed the knee to the image of Allah? Read that part again. Who have not bowed the knee to the image of Allah? Right. So that's what you call for out, huh? Look what you're driving. So what? Look what you're driving. Look what you're driving. You say you drive? Hey, you see where you drive? Yeah, he got, he got oh, the damn silver lion over there. Huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Show me my shit. Show me my shit. Yo, you see how the spirit works? Because. Right? We got that same exact thing. Every time you see. Because. You see what I'm saying? Everything is with the Lord. We just teach the word. That's what, like, that's what we gotta do, man. Uh, they gonna keep us off and all that stuff. Stay in the spirit. Teach the word. Try to answer the brother, you keep going over here and there, this and that, answer all his questions. Try to teach the lesson, you don't want to hear it. Try to go back and forth with him about the Hebrew, you don't want to hear it. Keep teaching the word. Everything is in the Lord. <laughs> 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 now you do what you got to do. Oh. Oh. Right? Oh. And that symbolizes like an art. Everybody ain't going to get on that boat. Everybody ain't going to get on that shit. Everybody ain't going to get on, in that van. It's not for everybody. You probably a damn angel. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me get Galatians chapter, uh, Luke chapter 15, verse 10. All right, Luke chapter 15, verse 10. <laughs> <laughs> he got his ass embarrassed. Hey, he got to stay here with a well whooped ass yeah. by the elder. <laughs> 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 Hell. I'm trying to get these niggas, man, trying to get them out the street. Now, they got black with and all that stuff. We're not moving. We're teaching the word. Where's the Messiah with the Father? <laughs> He's still trying to talk to him through the window. Luke, <laughs> chapter 15, verse 10. Bring it out. Bring it out. Likewise, I say to you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner. Right, there's joy in the presence of one sinner. You never know who's listening. But the job's to what? Edify the people, you know? They repent! Unto what? They repent! Unto repentance. We're supposed to teach our people to repent. Come back to the voice of the Most High God. Let me get everything funny in here. Let me that out. It's the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 1. Oh. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Right, so this is a war between good and evil. Same as with Esau and Jacob. Same as with our people trying to destroy us. I come against them. Right? And try to stop, it's not gonna work because it's gonna continue to edify the people in the words of the Lord. Huh? Very simple, man. You know? Before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. Right, so we get no respect in America. Right? That's why he went to the Capitol to rebuild the White House. Right? We the ones that built the White House. We the ones that built this country. And we still get no respect. So what's happening? Now we gotta do what? We gotta build our people back up. Our people don't make no accounts of our labors. We come to camp and teach the word of the Lord, we do it for free. We don't ask for no money. Right? But our people don't make no accounts of our labors. Because they don't understand. This is serious. But what's going to happen in these times? Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 1. Ezekiel chapter 9. Ezekiel 9 and 4. Come. Ezekiel 9 and 4. Same van. <laughs> Silver, right? This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9 and verse 4. Bring it up. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city. Right, so we're supposed to go through the midst of the city. We're supposed to go around the city forever, you know? All right. Through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the forehead. And set a what? And set, set a, a mark, mark upon, upon the, the forehead. forehead. So us setting the mark on the foreheads of the people hey, is us edifying the city. Of the forehead of the men that sighed and that cried for all the abominations. 
shall be done in the midst thereof. And verse 5, and to the others, he said in my hearing, go after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes. Verse 5, and go to the others, he said in my hearing, go after him through the city. Go after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. What? Neither have ye pity. Right, so our job is to teach, right. teach people, those that are going to listen to life. Exist, right? Everything that's going on right now exists. Let me get uh, Let me get second and chapter 14. 13 and 40. Okay, we love you too, okay? That's certain. That's certain. Let me show you something. Come here, I don't want to step through. Alright. Good. Alright. Brother, talk about the Hebrews in New York. Because at the end of the day, we all we got. No, that's a fact. We all we got. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's true. That's all we need. Let me show you something. Come here, Q. Hey, I'm going to hug you again. Hey, I feel cool. Meet me halfway. Meet me halfway. Hey, listen. For you, brother, meet me halfway. Yeah. Yeah. So you want people, but it's such. Anybody, you gotta do a job. One more thing. Anybody, you gotta do a job. You gotta make sure we're doing our job. I love you. All right, gang. Love you too, brother. Hey, like you say, hey, we all we got, right? We all we got, right? Because we, check this, check this. We might bump heads. Yeah, we can bump. At the end of the day, we got to be together. Right now, it's justification going on right now. Check this. That's a fact. Justification. They're building the high rise. They're going to push our people out of here. You know what's crazy? Watch this. You know what's crazy? I'm from 79. They're about to lock us down by the end of this month. They're about to lock it all down. And that metro right there. Yeah, now check this. We just came from Old Block two weeks ago. What happened in Old Block? They coming in and they doing what? They gentrifying. No. They shutting it all down. No, no, come here. I still got to teach. I still got to teach. I, no, I know you do, but I, I forgive you for going in those neighborhoods. Thank God, dude. Yeah. Appreciate it. Old Block, 79, we appreciate it. King, let me show you one real quick. Let me just show you one. You don't got to believe it, but let me just show you. All right, let me just show you. Come on, bro. <laughs> well, bring it out. Bring it out. <laughs> so, chapter 119 and verse 142. Bring it out. Thy righteousness is the everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. And thy what? And, and thy, thy law is the truth. And thy what? And, and thy, thy law is the truth. truth. That's the truth, kids. The law. <laughs> John 10 and 10. <laughs> See, that's the thing with Jake, man. Jake, he want to see if he's going to back down and try to push over the square and everything, and he's going to fold. You know, if you don't let it phase you, then Jake, like, oh, shit, I'm about to be my best shot and everything. All oh, this and that, rip shot, up the front, you know what I mean? And they can still sit in the So, what happened? You got to do this. Everything's in the Lord. Bring it up. This is the book of John, chapter 10, and verse 10. Bring it out. The thief cometh not. But for to steal and to kill and to destroy. And that's what we're talking about. The brother literally is talking about gentrification. Right? Read that again. This is the book of John, chapter 10 and verse 10. The thief come not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. And that's what he's going to do. He's coming to our neighborhood to rape, rob, murder, killing, to kill and to destroy. So we're letting our people know gentrification is in the Bible. He's still doing this right now against us. Right? And Jake's talking about we gotta check the family. First, you gotta know who you're working with. We love our people, but if you're not coming in the way to say, how about you being shot, you can't help us. Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bring it out. And they covered the field. And they did what? And they covered the field. 
church, but a white man wants Chicago. He won't host it. He wants Seven Lake Cottage. He won't O Block, right? He's taking these places and he's oppressing us, you know? They're taking them by baby. And they did what? They're taking them by baby. Right, murder, shooting, killing. Matter of fact, how is a white man taking Chicago? They'll take the guns and put it in the corners, right in front of the hood with the ops. All these Chicago gangs, what's happening now? They're helping to kill each other because of the white man with the guns. He's bringing in the weapons so they can kill each other. Right. And we call it all evil. We're here for them. We don't want to see it. In the houses! They take them away! You know? So they're oppressive men! Right. So these laws going to try to oppress us. You know? In his house! Even a man! In his hurt! Right. And we say, hey, listen. We say HOI Chicago in the north is going to be in the hoods, right? You said that, right? Right. So guess what? All people gonna see us in the hood, and what happens? They gonna try to break up. They gonna try to make us fool. We gotta stand ten toes down. Huh? Huh? We gotta stand ten toes down, man. All right? And what's about to happen? Little by little, start to chip back. Little by little. All right? The most I literally brought the brother with the big ass band. <laughs> like I'm like, God damn. A silver band at that. We just came with a black one. All right. Literally right off the trip, we just came uh, with a black. Uh, so what's happening now? Little by little, Second Corinthians 24. Uh, Everything is in the Lord, man. Everything is in the Lord. So what happened? Satan is bringing in their top demons to try to touch us. That's right. what I say. He said, I love you, brother. What? Same demon last time. <laughs> Same right? After the camp was done, he said what? Man. Yeah. What did he say? Good he said, job. He said, good job. Good job, y'all. So if we ask him for patience, what are we going to praise for? We're going to have to go through. And you got to be disciplined. Bring it up. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 4. Bring it up. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty to God to pulling down the strongholds. See, to pulling down the strongholds. Now get, get this. When you're tearing down a building, you don't just do it all in one day. You got to chip at it. You got to chip at it. You got to pull it down brick by brick. Same as the word of the Lord. You destroy the roots now people is believing in. You got to chip at it. Get the scriptures. Huh? Uh. They're going to keep trying to divert it. That's why they keep trying to stop it from bringing it out. Why? Because the words are spiritual. Bring it out. Casting down imagination. See? Casting down imaginations. You know? And every high thing that is sort of itself against Knowledge of the of God. Right. Everything that tried to exalt itself, like Egypt, like what happened with Pharaoh. What happened to the Pharaoh? Let me get Romans chapter nine. And you know what's very funny? Everything the scope is the same, we're using. For example, the brother told the Don, hey, what the hell are you saying? You gotta read louder. And hey, what's happening now? The Don is reading louder. Uh, uh. Alright? But he said, hey, you gotta prove this, you gotta prove that. We prove it, and now he goes across the street. Right? And now he come back. So what's happening? The Lord is using these stuff to do what? To keep us in that spirit. Uh, what is the spiritual level of this? Anything. Bring it out. Well, Bring it up! What do you say? Block it. While all this is happening, what's going on? Exodus 20 in it. It's still just happening. Bring it up. What do you say? It's a boost. I will have mercy on who I will have mercy. You know, I will have compassion on who I will have compassion. You know what? So then it is not of him that will nor of him that will right. but God that show mercy. For what? For God, God that show mercy. mercy. So Lord is the one that's going to show mercy. Alright? Our job is to be the people. Right? And Lord is the one that's going to show that person until we want to show it up to them. But why this is supposed to happen? Lord is the one that's going to show that person. Right? And let me get Romans chapter 9, verse 17. Everything I try to exalt itself against the word of the Lord, they don't, the brothers don't got to believe. The scoffers don't got to believe. But guess what? The word of God is not in vain. It will still come out. Alright? Who what you got? Romans 9 and 17. It's the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 17. Bring it up. For the scriptures say unto Pharaoh, See? even for the same purpose 
have I raised thee up. See, everything that exalted itself against the Lord, the Lord raised up power. You know? That I might show my power in thee. That he might what? That I might show my power, power in thee. So our people are still stuck in the ways of Egypt. Right? Egyptology, the Egyptians, you know? And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. And what's happening now? They talking about Egypt, they talking about Maha, they talking about Earth, Wind, uh, Ra, or this and that, whatever the hell is going on. But what's happening now, the Lord name is being declared all throughout the earth. How? Because of the prophecy. Judgment, that's happening on this earth. All right? Isaiah 29, verse 6. Hey, what's going on, Elder? Quick question, man. You believe in God, King? All right? Where you got? I know this block is hot. I know this block is hot. You see the way the people just moving back and forth, coming in, trying to get the hell up out of here, get whatever the hell they need. Right? Yeah. Right? But you still got to be that hedge. Yeah. You know? And that's the spirit. One third right here, two thirds right there. It's like when back into a corner, you still got to be that line. Yeah. And then, hey, look across. Light. 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 Bring it out. In this mountain shall the Lord of hosts speak unto all people a feast of fat days. Bring it out. Bring it out. shall be visited all the Lord of hosts with thunder. With what? With thunder. And that's the Lord hitting 30 cows with a lightning strike. Killed 30 cows. God. In Alabama. Mm. Now, the significance of that is that the lightning strike on those 30 cows wasn't against the cows, truly. It was against the, it was against the owner of the cows, God. which is the Edomite. What is that tiny with? Famine. Right? We all? And with earthquakes. And with what? And with earthquakes. What happened in Assyria? 40,000 people died because of the earthquake. You know what? And great noises. We're storing the temple. We what? We're storing the temple. Right. Tornadoes happening all over Chicago. That's crazy. We left just in time. We came back like the damn flood. Right. Literally. You know what? And the flame of the bow with flame. And a what? And the flame of the bow with flame. And, what? and what's happening in Canada with the wildfire? Right? This is all prophecy that's happening right now. Right? Drop that. Bring what you got. It's the book of 2 Peter, chapter 1 and verse 10. Yo. Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Right. You got to be willing to put your life on the line. Make your body a living sacrifice. Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Right? It's working for everybody. Anybody don't got the testicle, how you call it, testicular fortitude. To come out and teach the word of the Lord in the midst of the hood, in the midst of Jake and all this stuff going on. Right? The pastors can't do this. Let me get Isaiah 56 and verse 11. You know? The pastors can't do this, man. As soon as Jake curse out a pastor, he's passing up immediately. He's out. He's gone. Jake pull a gun on a pastor, he's gone. Alright? Now, brothers do got, you know, weapons here and there, but we not trusting in that. We trust in the words of the Lord. And the Spirit. Huh? Uh, God. Bring it out. Isaiah, chapter 56, verse 11. Bring it out. They are pretty dumb. They are what? what? They are pretty dumb. But so the pastors ain't got the heart to come out here and teach the people, man. Because they stayed in their buildings. They're about the money. All about the Benjamin, you know? Which can never have enough. Right? They can't have enough. Right? They're greedy, you know? But they are shepherds. They cannot understand. They are look to their own ways. Right, they look to their own game. Like the pastor that was in New York, the nigga that was showing all his jewelry and his gold and chains and everything. Right? And then six months later, they found out that he was basically scheming. Scheming the money. Scheming the monies and everything. What happened? They locked his ass up. Right? Because the pastor didn't call our people. Right? But you know what's crazy? Look at the balance of it. Let me get Isaiah 51 and verse 1. Everything has a balance. Bring what you got. 
Drop that. Get Luke 14 and 23. And you see like the brother's shirt in the back of the shirt? Luke 14 and 23. Uh -huh. Luke 14 and 23. Uh -huh. This is the book of Luke. Oh. This is the book of Luke. Chapter 14 and verse 23. Bring it out. Everything has a balance, right? Hold that. Get Proverbs 11 and 1. There's a balance. What I mean by that balance is light and darkness. Right? What is also that balance? Drop that. Bring what you got. This is the book of Luke, chapter 14 and verse 23. Bring it out. And the Lord said unto the servant. And the Lord said unto who? Unto the, the servant. servant. And the Lord said unto the servant to do what? Go out into the highways and hedges. Go out into the highways and the streets and hedges. This is our God. And compel them to come in. And do what? And compel, compel them, them to, to come, come in. in. The job is supposed to compel those that want to come in. Come into what? Into the truth of the Most High God. That want understanding. That want salvation. Anybody don't want to come into that house. Nah. All right. But our job is supposed to go out there. Into these corners, into these streets. That's it? Nah, it's a little bit. You know? That my house may be filled. Now, now look at the balance of this. Watch this. Give First John 3 and 10. First John 3 and 10. It's about balance, right? Light and darkness. Watch this. Bring it it's the book of First John, chapter 3 and verse 10. Bring it out. And this the children of God are. See? And this the children of God are what? Are manifest. See? The children of God on the right hand side is manifest, but also who else? You know? And the children of the devil. And the children of Satan are what? Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. And the righteousness is the laws. That's the light. So the children of God on the right hand side is manifest. And it's the What is happening? Get on the Right? And go back to Luke 14 and 23. This is a war. This is a spiritual war. Bring it out. Say, Jesus, chapter 51, verse 20. Bring it out. My sons have fainted. You know they have lied to the head of all the streets. See? So the Lord said the sons of God have fainted. They have lied in the head of the streets. What is that talking about? The corners. So what's happening? The corners are in the corners. The corners are in the corners. The corners are in the corners. So we're serving the people with the scriptures, we're giving them knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, we're feeding the people with the right scriptures, the righteousness, right? And what are they doing on the left hand side? They're serving the people with the ways of sin. So one is the servant of the Lord, other one is serving the people of the devil, of the devil, of Baal. Now Shatana is in the corner. So this is a balance. So it's crazy. It's crazy. Everything is, everything is reversed. They on the side with the light, and we on the side in this dark, right? <laughs> yeah. This is the wall. Right? It's darker color right here, right? right? But over there, they got the light. But in actuality, we have the light and they're in darkness. That's why right across from us is what? Light. God. Everything ties in. So this is a spiritual war. Our job is supposed to teach the word of the Lord. Whether they're here, whether they're home. Because they're going to know in these last days that this was the truth. And when they know that, it's a wrap. We did our job. Give me a point. Huh? Time. Every month, right? Let me get one more. Uh, let me get uh, Firefox. Let me get Hotel One. Say, who's there? Hotel One. These times, they're going to be soft. Of course, they're going to be soft. But it's how you deal with it. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 1 and verse 10. Bring it out. Yet the number of children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which, is, which cannot be measured nor numbered. You know and this shall come to pass, that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, you are the sons of the living, living God. God. Right, so in a place that we're not even acknowledged as the children of Israel, Right? Which is here in America. Our people don't accept and don't want to believe that they're the Israelites. Right? Because we're cast in darkness right now. Esau has done a hell of a job on us. 
cut away us from our heritage. Now we think we're black or Egyptian or whatever. This is part of the curses. So our people ain't gonna believe in us. But those that's gonna believe, they're gonna repent. It ain't for everybody. Right? Uh, so these are the times that we in. This ain't for everybody. Uh, close it out. Uh, Zechariah uh, 13. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, and verse number 8. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass that all in the land say of the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Right, and the, prophecy, read on. But the third so shall be left therein. So it's the one third versus the two thirds. Right? Light versus darkness. The two parts are going to be cut off to die, but the third shall be left therein. The third is the one that's going to last and go into the end. And in the time that we get for prophecy, we got to be able to deal with that. Huh? God. We got to be able to. Man. Don't, let, don't, let, don't, let, don't, any, don't ever let anybody try to push you off the script. You know, even if you got to laugh it off, you know, even if you're pissed off, whatever, you got to laugh it off, you know, we still got a job because we just see some work. God. Huh? God. Now, let me know. Anything going on, let me know. Uh -huh. This is what we got to do. Uh -huh. God. Let's close out. Right? Come back tomorrow. Let's see what's going on. God. Today, it's a lot of people taking over the time. Call me a seller. We got next. Forever. Take the kingdom. Call me a seller. Kingdom of everything. No surrender, no retreat. You're going to get this word. You're going to get this word. Hey. Call me a seller. Call me a seller. Call. 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 Call.